Good afternoon. My name is John Winago, the usual wireless generation <coughs> consultant here in FCT Abuja, Nigeria, Africa. So today we want to talk about charging feedback in the wireless generator. Whether it's one kVA, two kVA, up to hundred kVA. Today let's look at some facts also when constructing a folder generator in the aim of charging back. So this what you see here <coughs> are shapes of magnets. <coughs> magnets. And what is the purpose of this magnet? Number one, when you have current coming in two folds, we call this one the armature. Why this one is the start zone? The current splits to both of them. So when it splits, what happens is that the current from the core will go to make this one to become magnetized. When it magnetize, about 25% of the current produced from the starter will be used to make this one to magnetize. This one will remain 75%. So if this one is 20 watts and this one is 80 watts, is this? 20 watts and this one is 60 watts for example any speed that anything that affect the speed of this one this one will drop this one will also drop but what we're not looking for now is that how can we make this one independable in this one such a way that this one will remain 80 watt and this one will be what zero watts so what we need to do we need to change the configuration on how we configure it First thing you need to do is to temper with the diode. The diode that comes with it. When you alter the diode, you increase it. The value of the diode. We increase it means that any current that is more than this can we really need we really need micro currents. Any current that is more than this cannot come in. So what we now do is that we carry our magnet based on the size of the statue. You bring it in. When you bring it in, you do some drilling and make it the same perfect shape. But the point you're going to do now is that in our next video, we're going to teach you which of the sides you're going to use? Is it north or south? In the next video, I'm going to show you what is the dimension of the magnet and the thickness, the length and the thickness of the magnet depends on the what? The KVA. So if you are using one KVA, for example, now, KVA. It should not go beyond 3 mm. In our next uh, class, I'm going to teach you and give you the formula they're going to use to solve for any KVA, up to 100 KVA. KVA. So I hope you enjoy the class. First thing, to, for you to prevent the current that is coming from the statue not to go to the start, not to go to the amateur. So that the current produced by this by the core by the coil of the statue will be used to power any load. So even though the speed of this amateur drop, it will not it will only drop by affecting the current is given to this one. It will not affect the current that is himself is using to power the to power the load. So when it drop, it will drop to reduce this one, but it will not affect this one. So I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you very much. I will expect to see you more time. Subscribe to the button. Uh, we see expecting more from other video. We are also asking, please, should also support us yes. for further research work. Yeah, 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 It's a very intensive venture. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we wish you to support us in your own way. We want to do more further research on how to perfect this work we are doing. 
Thank you very much. We appreciate it lot. And make sure you subscribe to the button. Don't forget to press that red notification button so you can see all our videos. All the videos we have been posting from time to time, you can see them and you can also benefit from them. Thank you so much. Thank you too. God bless you. Go. Good day, good afternoon. My name is John Buena Obo. We are here to bring us some facts based on the part that some people are already doubting that folded generator is real or not. So today we will bring some basic facts on how to configure your generator, your folded generator starts with. Well, from, as a beginner, you are going to start in this form. Whenever your coil starts in this direction, we call it knots. Whenever your coil starts in this direction, we call it south. That means when you loop your when you loop your statue, your coil statue and the current enter through this direction and come out through this direction the nature of the magnet we produce is called knot when it enter through this direction and go in the clockwise direction the nature of the magnet produce will be south magnet pole so now in generator case we have different configuration we have what they call And we have the one they call this one called in this direction. Why is one called in this direction? You see, it means that when it curve like this. You go down to curve like this. So you curve again. Since it comes through up, you will, will now. Let me show you very well so you understand. You go in this form. So in this case, our direction is what? Going down, which is called this one. Not. So when it's coming down, you're coming down. In this direction, you form something like this. We call this one south. When it's going again, it's going. This one is what? Not. You can see it now. So when you are looping it, when you loop it in this direction, how can you know if this one is not? This wire that entered, if this one is the one that should face at the surface of the wire, and this one is inside the cord, something like this. You see, this wire is inside the loop, while this one is outside. Means that this one that is inside is the one that enters and comes out. You can call this one what? Not. But when it becomes something like this, means that this one is the one that enters. While this one you can owe that you have not left the end of that wire, since it comes out, we call this on what? South. So for you to understand the very way, you must understand which direction you are using. If it's going to produce certain words, you need to spread it. For example, you can say south, 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 three, three, to form a loop. Or you say not, 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 to form a loop. Or you say not, not, to form a loop. Or you say not, to form a loop. This one that you use theory to form one loop is called theory phase. This one you use one or two is called single phase. So if you are using, if you want to rewind your starter in order for you to get a generator, an alternator that we use for folded generator, you must understand this key point that it's not the same wiring of that of the generator that came with the normal starter you are going to use because that one you are using 
He deals with what? Not, 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 not. In what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we, for you to change, you reduce the arrow pm. You give it either its own single face. So three of this one will come out. Or you make it divided by two means that if this one is 1,500 arrow pm, when you share it into three, three, you are getting 750. While we use it single, single phase, which is one, two, three, you get what? 500 arrow pm. So I hope you enjoy today's lecture. Well, we wish to see you more time. Remember to subscribe at the button, press the bell, and press the red button to subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you press the bell notification so you can see all our videos, every tips we are posting from time to time. So please do subscribe so you miss any video from there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Once more, we say thank you and remain blessed.